Welcome to the last race of the BTCC Legend Series in association with BTCC Blueprints and Paul Welsh Construction. Final race of a great season and let's have a look at the reverse grid. We have Jeff from Chris, then Lewis, Nathan, Panos who recovered well, Liam, Ash, Sean, then we've got Will, Rob, Ben, Adam, and then Jake at the rear. Let's see how race 12 of the season goes and the final race of the season. All the lights are on. The lights have turned green and we're away. A good start by all there. Someone straight into the middle of the uh, pack there. I can't work, couldn't quite see who that was from uh, the camera. Given. But away we go and we've got Chris out in the lead early. And it looks like a little bit of mayhem just behind, uh, I believe, one of the uh, Subarus there, making a huge progress up the field, that's Nathan already up to third place by the looks of it, and uh, is that, uh, yeah, that's Ash there, trying to go around the outside there of Lewis, but failing unfortunately, and now we've got uh, Jeff under massive pressure already from Nathan, Nathan trying to go around the outside nice and early, up into second position, uh, taking that position off of Jeff quickly. A little bit further down the pack, we've got uh, is that Liam fighting with Sean already as well. And yeah, Sean just about keeping the position. Liam into the side of Ben, I believe that was. And uh, Ben keeps the position away from Liam, despite Liam's best effort to cross him into the gravel. And then Will there, just on the rear bumper. Nathan, uh, who was that running a little bit wide? We just caught the end of that. That was Ash running that little bit wide, losing a few spots there, unfortunately. I think three. And now Adam being attacked there by Jake along the main straight. Jake's got the slipstream off of the super in front. Adam just not going to give any quarters. Uh, uh, Jake takes the grass. Can he go? Uh, can he go that way? No, he flicks back to the inside, up in between the two. Uh, two drivers there and takes the position away. As we go back towards the mid-pack, we've got Sean, Ben and uh, is that Rob? No, it's Liam there, fighting away with uh, one of the returning top uh, Volvos, Volvo lookalikes there, uh, which is, I believe, Jeff and Will, all fighting together all over the place. Looks like Liam loses out big time there, flash of the headlights, I don't know who that's to, goes round unfortunately, and hold the barrier just like Liam did in race, uh, in race 11 of the season. Spins him round and sends him down to last place. Now Liam has got Adam here now for company, and Jake going either side of him. Who's going to come out of the next corner ahead? That's Jake ahead of Liam. With Adam trying to go up the inside, thinks better of it, falls back into line. So in the mid pack, we've got Jake here now from Liam, from Adam. And he's can't quite work out who that is just behind Adam there. Unfortunately, I believe that is Jeff. Should see as it come across the uh, camera angle, it's Ash and Jeff there. But Jake's certainly got. Lean for a bit of company here, coming out of turn two into turn three. He's pulling away now from Liam as Adam catches catches him up. Jake certainly looks like he's got his position held now. And Adam, is Adam going to try and push Liam that little bit harder? It, no, it looks actually like uh, Ash is going to go up the inside there of Liam taking the position away and uh, keeping Panos behind the two of them. As we flick back towards the leader here and Chris is well ahead. He has been caught that little bit there by, uh, by Nathan. But Chris driving smoothly, using full advantage of that reverse grid here to try and gain that little bit of ground. Pulling away early from Nathan, opening up a big enough gap for Nathan have to try and chase down. He's doing a good job about it. As we go towards the rear of the pack there, and 
we've got uh, Will, who's trying to recover after that horrible spin uh, midway around the midway around the lap. With uh, I believe that's Jeff there alongside him. Plenty of distance between the two into the braking zone of turn one. It looks like yep, yeah, Will's going to keep hold of that position. And we jump back to uh, Ben here fighting with Sean yet again, Jake there ahead of the two, chasing down the lead three, but now Ben and Sean together again, these two were at it like Hammer and Tom again in uh, the first race uh, of, this, uh, of this round, Sean up the inside there and Ben, ben won't be happy about that, plenty of room there, not a single bit of contact, fantastic from the two of them, we go back to our leader Chris here who's now ch been challenged uh, a little bit closer by Nathan for the lead. Nathan got plenty of company there with him. Uh, but he's just allowing Chris to open that gap up that little bit more again. And uh, it looks like we've got Lewis who's challenging Nathan for second. As we flick through the pack here and uh, we see as we see Liam coming down into turn one, spending that penalty. Running that little bit wide as well, off into the gravel. Can he keep it in a straight line? No, just about, just about. But that's dropped him well down the water. And almost into last place as uh, Jeff tries to challenge him. Very, very fair there from, is that, uh, who was that there? I, I think that was uh, Ash there, just pulling over, believing he was at fault to put uh, Liam in. Brilliant and fair sportsmanship there by uh, by Ash. And now we've got his teammate actually, Chris, still out in the lead under a little bit of pressure now from Nathan. As we see uh, Lewis with uh, Panos. Lewis running out a little bit wide, giving Panos the place almost, unfortunately. And uh, back to the leaders as Nathan now has definitely caught Chris. Starting to put that little bit of pressure. This is the most pressure Chris has felt all race long. Down into the last two corners of the lap. Chris running that little bit wider. Uh, could that be tyres just starting to weigh out there? He seems to have a bit of a sprint there away from Nathan out the corner. Nathan using the slipstream to pull himself back into contention. Up over the crest of the hill. Nathan pulling out wide just like he did in the last race. Challenging Chris round the outside. Chris just keeping him out wide. Just enough just enough racing room for the two of them. But Chris does keep that position ahead of Nathan. Nathan eyeing up, waiting for that to, that chance. Down now, back down the hill, round the bank corner. Nathan could be just waiting for his favourite position. To try and overtake and come round the left hander here we've got double left another left hander and then there's Liam's favourite point, he pulls to the outside like he has done before he tries to go round the outside of Chris here but Chris is wise to it and shuts the door straight in Nathan's face, no going through there at all from him he keeps the position, almost opens up a little bit of gap as Nathan had to come off the throttle just gives him that little bit of breathing space coming round to the final couple of corners of the lap again. He keeps it nice and tidy, fantastic driving. As we flick back, we've got Ben and Sean now fighting. Both fighting together, is, uh, I believe this is for fourth place because we've got Jake up in third, almost in no man's land between the, uh, the two, two sets of drivers. Sean looking all over the rear bumper of, uh, of Ben, maybe a little bit of Morse code there just before the braking zone. Sean looking towards the inside, Ben says no, so Sean drops back in, up the inside this time, pushes uh, Ben that little bit wide coming on the coming to the exit, he's got to compromise Ben through the corner here, nudge up the backside, come on Ben, get moving, Sean says. And he does, he opens up a, a little bit of a gap, maybe two three tenths of a second as we jump back to the leaders and we've got Chris being harassed by Nathan can he hold it to the line Nathan pulls out but no Chris does take it 
from Nathan, from Jake, and then we've got Ben and Sean side by side. Oh, Ben pushes Sean. Bit of afters there. Don't know what happened there, but Sean takes the position away from Ben, almost on the line. Ben was not happy about that at all. Not one little bit. Ben will be furious. So we see that Chris takes the victory from Nathan, from Jake, uh, from Sean and Ben, and then the two non-finishers there at the bottom, Lewis and Rob, unfortunately. Thank you very, very much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this season. We will be back in about a week's time with the brand new season. Few new drivers to the championship coming up from the McGann series as well. Thank you for watching. Thank you to our sponsors this season. BTCC Blueprints, as always, the place to go for your merchandise. And Paul Welsh Construction, that place to go if you're thinking about that conservatory. We thank you again and we will see you next season.